The table gives the coordinates of two points on a line in the xy plane. The y intercept of the line is k minus 5, comma b, where k and b are constants. What is the value of b? Okay, so we have this table that gives us two points, k, comma, 13, and k plus 7, comma, negative 15 that are on a line. <coughs> we'll say this line is y equals mx plus b. And here this b in the y-intercept is also this b here since the b term in the y equals mx plus b is the y-intercept, the value of y at the y-intercept, and here b is also the value of y at the y-intercept. So since the y-intercept is at k minus 5 comma b, and we know that at the y-intercept, the value of x, the x-coordinate, is always 0. So k minus 5 has to equal 0, which means that k equals 5. Okay, now that we know the value of k, we can turn these coordinates into coordinates with just numbers instead of k. So the first one becomes 5, comma, 13, and the second one becomes 7 plus 5, which is 12, comma negative 15. So now we have these two points on the line and we can easily just solve for all the components of the line. So to find the slope we can just find the rise over run between these two points. So we can do 13 minus negative 15 to find the change in y. Divide that by the change in x, 5 minus 12 which will give us 13 minus negative 15 is just 13 plus 15, which is 28. And then 5 minus 12 is negative 7. So the slope, or our m value, is negative 4. Now that we have the slope, we can just plug in a point, like 5 comma 13, to solve for b. So we, our current equation looks like y equals negative 4x plus b. But let's plug in the point 5 comma 13. So this will give us an x and a y value. So our y will be 13 and then our x will be 5. So 4 times 5. And then we'll solve for the value of b which will give us the y-intercept. So 13 equals negative 4 times 5 which is negative 20 plus b. So that means if we move this negative 20 to the other side, b equals 33. So this is the, the y value of the y-intercept of this function. So the value of b is 33. So that's the answer.